I want to use this opportunity to wish everybody who's watching a happy, happy new year. Whether you're watching it at the start of the year or in the middle of the year or in the end of the year, I hope that this year brings you a lot of peace, love, and light. And I wanted to start the year off right by cleaning up a lot of spaces and going through and folding things that are not folded. I just wanted to make sure that we started the year off clean. Back in Jamaica, my mom used to say, if you start the year with money, that's how the rest of the year is going to go. Do I believe that? Not exactly, because I've started the years off with money and I've been broke closer to the end of the years. So that doesn't really hold much weight. But I'd like to think that if I start the year off with a good with a good cleaning streak, then I'll be able to maintain that throughout the year. So we're going through and changing the sheets and freshening up the apartment and just make everything feel as new as we can. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and it gives you some cleaning motivation and I will see you guys in the next video. This has to be the literal worst part of putting on a duvet cover and it is just taking it off and changing it. I literally hate this part, but I prefer the duvet inserts and the duvet covers because it is less bulky to store. So all I would be taking off is the covers and the covers fold very small like a regular sheet. So I really, really enjoy the covers as opposed to having like four or five different comforter sets and i will not have one because i like different things and i like changing it up but this part of it i really really do not enjoy so i go through and i buy cute ones to make sure that i feel good about the space when i put them in there my bedroom is mostly like gray my sister just told me that she feels like it looks masculine but i like colors or shades that you're able to mix and match you can put other things with it and it still looks great and for me that is like grays and whites and stuff like that but i wouldn't get white because it soils too easily and i'm pretty sure it would show every single mark and that would make me a little bit crazy and normally when i change my bedding i'm that person who will lay there for a hot little minute before i get anything else done I wanted to then go through and vacuum the bathroom and like clean it up and change the rugs that I had inside there. But I buy rugs that go with one of my favorite shower curtains so I could keep that shower curtain up for an extended period and just go through and change the rugs out here and there. So that's what you will see me doing and I'm using my vacuum to vacuum up the floor. There's always a lot of hair in the bathroom so have to get rid of that. 
And then I have the kitchen area where I'm going through and like cleaning that up, just putting away the dishes, putting a new wallflower in, wiping down the counters, little things like that just to make it feel more clean and more airy. I don't like to see when the drainer is full of pots and pans, but I also like having somewhere for them to dry. So as soon as it gets full, I will like pull it down and fix that up. I'm going through here and I'm cleaning up my nightstand because of course if the nightstand is too cluttered then it makes me feel a little bit crazy because I feel like there's too much going on there. So we're going to get that situated and then we're changing the sheets again. And then this is about a week later where I had to go back in and change the pillowcases just because I feel like the pillowcases you're sleeping on those and if you drool you drool on your pillowcases so you're gonna smell that and you're definitely gonna feel that and i feel like it's not the most pleasant so i always go through and change my pillowcases luckily for me most of my sheets and pillowcases are gray and so i have grays that will be able to go with like another bedding so i'm able to mix and match and everything is still fine and i'm gonna move on to vacuuming the floor and my vacuum died even though I did charge it before this video. I charged it for like 10 minutes so I knew that I didn't have enough charge based on the time that I charged it for. But I thought it had some charge to begin with but sadly I was wrong. So after making sure that my lips are nice and moisturized, I wanted to go through and like sweep my rug off because I noticed little things on there like it catches little things even though it's not one of those like super fluffy rugs. And then I sweep the floor. And once I get everything together, I vacuum it up and make sure that you sweep underneath your bed. I sweep and I vacuum and you will see a very, very sad and disturbed me that the vacuum died on me. But how good does the flowers look in the background just with everything put together and clean? Very aesthetically pleasing. I hope you guys enjoy this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.